default is the Hacker 0007, and today I'm doing a video review on a program sent to me one of, by one of my subscribers called uh, Blue Stacks App Player. This app lets you uh, play your favorite Android apps on the PC. So now, um, you know, playing those cool apps like Angry Bird Space, Angry Bird in general, you know, all those cool Android apps, you guys can now play on your PC and have the um, pleasure of having on your bigger screen, using a mouse, etc. So to get this uh, application, I'll have a download link in the description to bluestacks.com. Go here, just hit the big download now button. Now this is this is the beta, I believe. So, and then it's already done. So once you have it done, just hit the open button. You can run it. Close out your browser. So now this is the uh, installer. It's a small download, and what happens is it actually downloads it off of uh, a website. So while it's installing, it's actually downloading it. So you can see it's at 18 percent already. So it shows you guys. You, know, you can play Angry Birds. How you can launch the guys. I'll probably uh, download Angry Birds and show you guys just a little quick demo of it. So, especially if you have a gaming PC, this uh, this, this application is a cool idea. Um, you also, you guys can also use the media players. Really, almost every Android app available you can get for this. Now, I believe at the beginning you guys can uh, also set it up with your phone if you have an Android phone to uh, sync your apps. So when you're at home, you can actually you know play the Android apps while you're charging your phone, play them on the computer. So we're almost done the download here, about 98 percent. Now I'm starting the installation, and you guys see, see right there we got the uh, on-screen keyboard. Looks pretty legit, like the other one. Yeah, so you guys can just see these pictures as you're installing it. And see, it's right now it's showing you guys different apps. You know, right now they're on a news app. Right now they're they're using uh, the talk application. So let's say we're almost getting close to the uh, finishing of this install. And here we sh they show you guys how you can use Facebook, um, the application for the Android phones or tablets, and you can actually be on Facebook. That right there I kind of, kind of find it pointless because you guys can just open up your start menu and go to your browser and do it, but if you guys want to be little nerds and show off to your friends, it's a great idea too. But to, but to me though, I think the uh, biggest uh, advantage of this application and the coolest part of it is actually the playing the games as you know because um, some games like in Angry Birds Space I believe you can get for Google Chrome but um, there are some games like um, the new Temple Run for Andro Androids and you know things called Draw Free or something like that um, those are apps you can't get on PC and using this application you can actually get them so I find that I find that to be the coolest part of this whole thing. So it's, it's finishing up the install right here, guys. And I'm going to give you guys a quick run through of the um, first startup and maybe play a, a quick little game. Now this is also the beta. I will remind you. Um, I'm sure they're going to make more updates. And again, if you, even if you're watching this video, you know, a month after its release, if there's an update, you guys can find it on the same website. So it's all good. So I did notice in the corner here we actually got the blue stacks notification button here. And by right clicking on it, I can see a couple um options. We have to report problem, restart, and quit. The other three are currently unavailable. So Looks like we should be finishing up soon here. It's just setting up the Android library, which I'm assuming is where we'll be installing our apps.
All right, pretty close. I'm just gonna pause the recording until it's done, and then I'll get, come back with you guys when it's actually done. All right, so here we got. Uh, it actually just worked like two seconds after I stopped pausing. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got two of them up here. So it's just saying, please select the language, click the button below. So next, I think this will be a little slow on my computer because of the because I am recording. And I don't have a supercomputer, so all right. So select your language. I'm just gonna go with uh, English, United States. So you guys can actually sync up your apps app updates, photos, SMS, and right to your PC if you have an Android phone. Uh, I unfortunately do not I have an Android tablet, but uh, you need an actual Android phone because from what I believe it actually sends you a text message which you respond to and then it syncs. So if you guys have a tablet, you're going to have to say no right now, but uh, if you guys have a phone, you can click yes and then to enter in your phone number and something else and it will do that for you. So, your email address, just type the email address here. And I hit next. Again, this should be a little faster than your computer. My computer is recording, and I don't have the coolest computer in the world. Alright, so. So we, you guys, can, we can actually go on the Blue Stack, Blue Stack Cloud Connect Android app, and um, enter in the PIN. So I'm actually quickly going to grab my tablet, which is right next to me, and I'm going to pull up the App Store, or sorry, the An Android Market. So once you're, once you're done with that though, you guys can actually hit close. And this is where you guys can find some apps. So I'm just gonna go out and grab uh, Angry Birds for example. I might have a little uh, video at the end of this video, maybe, I'm not sure yet. Um, that will have the actual Android app or sorry, the BlueStack app connect cloud there, so you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna grab Angry Bird Space here. Again, you guys can pick any app you want. But I'm just gonna grab that. So now you can see it's downloading. I'm just trying to find the actual app on my tablet right now. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pause the video until this is done downloading and then I'll show you guys again once it's done. Alright, so it has been installed and I actually we get a little notification here saying that the Angry Birds game has been installed. Now we just have to go back I believe and we should have the option to start Angry Birds. So here you go, we got preparing app for use, establishing a network. And here we go, we actually have Angry Birds running right now. So So once that loads up, I'll show you guys a little of the game. I'm actually pulled up the BlueStacks Cloud Connect on my tablet. So I'm actually going to download that right now. And if it finishes before I'm done showing you guys this, I will actually show you syncing once this dumb game loads up. Alright, so 
I'm back here with it uh, installed. I got a lot of music running. I'll play the first level. Again, it is a little laggy because of my recorder, but uh, for you guys, it shouldn't be too laggy. And my computer's about four or five years old, so it isn't the uh, most powerful PC for multitasking, I guess you guys could say. But with the money I'm making from uh, YouTube, I'm hoping at the end of the year, maybe beginning of next year, I'll be uh, from, from like my 16th birthday. I'll be looking at me getting a lot of parts, and then uh, you know building my nice, myself a nice powerful PC. You know that'll be able to hold a lot of crap and do all my necessary stuff. So at the end of the video, actually, I'm going to uh, exit at Angry Birds. And I'm going to uh, show you guys how to sync up with your phone slash tablet. So you guys can see, it's same thing as the actual game. So we'll go over, we'll grab the bird. Oh crap, this is very loud here right now. Launch it. And there you go. As you see, guys can see, works perfectly. Again, on your computer, it won't lag as much because I am running a recorder. But uh, besides that, guys, uh, it's a pretty cool program, so I was just checking it out. Now, one last thing before I before I leave you guys off with this awesome program, I'm going to go back to the home here, and I'm going to show you guys how to connect with your tablet or slash phone. So all you guys got to do is open, go on the um, Android Market slash Play Store, depending on what you got. And find the Blue Stacks Cloud Connect. Once you have that open, just go right here into the settings here. Go to Cloud Connect, and it's gonna tell you to pin right here. So go onto your app, and you should have um, the option to type in a pin. Type in your pin. Once you have it done, you guys hit login on your tablet. I'll hit close. Now for me, it says please wait while in your applications. So I, I selected all of them. I click sync. So now it's actually going to hurt syncing them. And I believe I should start getting some stuff on this here. So on my tablet, it just keeps having a lot, bunch of notifications saying sync, 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 sync. So I'm gonna again pause the recording until I have some apps synced, and then I'll show you guys again. All right, so as you guys can see. My list here has been growing a bit. I have some more apps, and so one of the apps I have installed is uh, Stumble Upon. So I'm just gonna show you guys that app. So you guys see it works perfectly. Another one of, my, one of the apps I have, which is a green app, is called Astro File Manager. Say so accept. Okay. I'm not sure if it's showing anything for File Manager, but as you guys can see, we got the File Manager works perfectly. Now, I don't think it's going to work because I don't think it has a place, but so you guys can see I also have my antivirus, you know, right here. So it's a really cool thing. Uh, as you guys can see, some more apps are dropping in there. Apparatus, for example. I can open that up. So it's a cool little thing. You guys can get all your Android stuff to your computer, and you guys can play it there. So it's a great app, guys. Check it out. Um... And besides that, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can leave a comment below. You guys can uh, leave a private message me or any of tweet me, whatever you guys got to do. And besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker Chip 7 and I'm signing off.